Hi everyone, this is Tom with Stock Navigator, and today is uh, October 6, 2019. Uh, what I'm going to do today is just try to show you the next week market forecast so that you can uh, see how the market move next week. So let's start with the SB500. So I'm using the EF at the tool here to show you. So right last week, as you see that the market dropped to certain level that we low here, and then they hold up at the slide, and then they rub out quickly, and then the institution, they come back in, they put it back up. So it seems like the market is able to stabilize at this level. If they can hold up at this level, I think that we will see the market will higher uh, in, uh, you know, from now on until the year end. Because a lot of people out there, they are very nervous right now. When the market drop, they say, uh oh, another recession, okay, bad news coming in. People are getting scared. But by on the technical analysis, by look at the chart, the market is still hold up very well. Every time you see that they go down, the institution they put more money. Everything go down, institution put more money. Everything they drop, institution put more money. So it seems like this one they will do the same thing. Okay. So let's see how things going. But in the short term here, as you see that uh, since last week, the market dropped and then they put it back up. Okay. And then now they hold up at this level and then they put it back up on Friday. And right now they try to pull back. As long as they keep this level above this level, the market you have room to go up to one more level before you can see that, you know, they will correction to certain level and then they go higher, okay? So that's how the market is going to do next week. So you will uh, uh, get trade accordingly to what I show you right now. So that's the way I'm uh, forecast. But if the market drop below here, and then that will be a different story. But look at on the bigger time frame, this is how the market move right now. So we stick with the upside right now. Of course, in the on the way up, you have some you know uh, correction now, but that's yet to pull down and then they will go higher. So that's what we are thinking right now. Unless they come back and took this low, then, then that's a different story. Okay. So let's see how the market turn around and then we just trade according to what the chart telling us. And then with the market condition right now, we just monitor it day by day. And then we just for the day trade people, we just focus on what segment the market move. And then we will trade accordingly to that segment that tell you. Okay. So that's for the uh, uh, year. And um, let me go to the next one. Uh, the next one, let's look at the uh, uh, look at the uh, the Dow. Okay, so the Dow zone right now is similar. Okay, so the market is uh, on the bigger time frame. They pull back down. They hold up very well. It's like they do it in the past. Okay, every time they, they pull back, they do a step in. They put it back up. If they break this level here, the market will come back and in the in the bull side again. Okay, in the short term for day trading, you can stick with this formation. Okay. And then watch out and we have to this level, okay? And then they will do some correction before they can go higher, okay? So that's for the uh, Dow. And for the Russell 2000 RTY, it's very similar, okay? They stick into the uh, parallel channel right now in the bigger time frame. As you can see that the market pull back down, pull back up, pull back down, pull back up, and it used to step in again. So let's see how far they go to step up the, the downtrend line again. In the meantime, in the short term, you can see that they stabilize here as long as they hold up about this level here, okay, and then they will continue to crawl back up and watch out for the resistance area right here, okay, before they can do correction and before they can go higher, okay. That's for Russia, it's very similar to the other indices and the NQ, NASDAQ is very similar to the Dow and the uh, SP 500. Okay, then upside, they pull back, the division step back in, they put it back up. Okay, in the short term, the same thing, you can see that they are a big, uh, you know, bullet candle coming in. They come back up at the red high, high, high low, and then they, you know, when they go here, they need to check out this downtrend line here. And then if they be able to do that, the market will go higher. But before they go higher, they have been go up so fast here, they may pull back down a little bit and before they can go higher. Okay, that's the direction of the NQ 
and look at the oil. The oil, it, uh, uh, they go in down uh, last week, but they stabilize in this level here, okay? And seem like it did the level that the whole, the oil have been traveling around between the buy zone and the sell zone here as we specify for you the last many week. So they, if they stabilize here, okay, and then they can go back up again. So right now on the short term, you see this is a downtrend line here. Okay, so as long as they, they, they take it out, they pull it back up. So if they break this uh, Y line here, they go up and test this level. Okay, but if they come down here, and then uh, they can go back and, and hang around here in the deep buy zone here before they get some momentum and turn around and go higher. Okay, so right now look like the old level is stuck in this level for uh, many months right now. And uh, let's see how they turn out. Okay, so that direction for the oil and for the natural gas. The natural gas, it uh, as you can see, the natural gas it go up and now they pull back down in the downside. Okay, technically right now in the bigger time frame they are due down, but if they be able to get back up, okay, take about this level and then and then they can turn around to go higher. Okay, because the natural gas would go very low. And now if they be able to hold up here, they pull back to the support like I told you last week. And then now they pull it back up, they make a high high. So as long as they keep the level here, and this is the, uh, the resistance area here. Okay, so you have to watch out. And this is the support. So right now they're in the middle, and it, we'll see if they be able to take this level out, they will go higher. Okay, if otherwise they will come back and test this level again to see what they are doing before they get some momentum, okay? So the natural gas is very, very cheap right now, but depend on the weather in uh, uh, in the, the, the West Coast, if it's too hot, then the natural gas it still can go lower, but if the weather is changing over there, then I think it's more demand for the natural gas. So let's see how they turn out. So right now you're in the middle here, as long as it's still high, 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 low, it's still uptrend. But it make it low, low, and the trend will change direction. Okay, so that for the natural gas and for gold, gold right now at uh, uh, they going down, they put it back up, they going up, they hit right into the down resistance line right here. So as long as it's still below this line here, and uh, the technically the uh, the gold is still in the bear side. Okay, because this should. This retrace area is still over here. So uh, we want to see that what they want to do. If we break this trend line, and then uh, they, it means that they, see, they finish the ABC correction and then they go higher. If they don't do that, they come back out, it means that the, the correction is not over yet. Okay, so in the short term, you can see they put it back up. So right now, they put it back up, they put it back down, put it back up. So if they take this one down, it means that they go right here and test this area right here. And then from that point, you will see that are they able to go higher or they will go lower. It depends on how the people hatching with the market. If the market go higher, the gold will go lower. So we, we will see that next week. Okay. So that for the gold and for the bond, the bond is still uh, hang very tight in this level. They're not given up yet. So uh, uh, let's see what they want to do and test this sell on up here. Okay. And for the Bitcoin. The Bitcoin is still in the correction mode, okay? On the bigger time frame, the Bitcoin has been uh, go very fast from the bottom up to uh, $14,000. And now, because since they run up so fast, so technically they are still in the correction right now. So we have to see that when they're able to turn around and go higher, otherwise they are still in the correction right now. In the short term, uh, you can see that they uh, try to go back up okay they finish this move here and now this left here they try to come down okay so they go back here so this is the level of the buy zone right now we have to see that they are they be able to hold it one here or they go a little bit further okay to complete the section here okay so look like it they do have one more leg down before they can turn around on the bigger time frame so you have to uh, pay attention for this level here so when they complete this move, and then they will turn around and complete the correction cycle on this wave here before they can turn around and go higher. 
Okay, so that's the market uh, uh, forecast for next week. So if you, uh, because what we show you here, everything is they call price action. Anything I analyze here, you no, know, we don't using anything more than uh, a price action. So if you want to know more about uh, how to trade, how to understand the market, because everything is on the chat. If you know how to read the chat, that's exactly what it tell you. You don't need any fancy indicator. You don't need any tool or any software that, that, that help you to sell or to buy and sell. If you understand how to read the chat, you can trade by yourself, okay? So if you want to learn more about our method, our strategy, you can check out our website at stocknavigator.com or you can uh, click the link below uh, to subscribe to our YouTube. Every time we have a new update, we will send the alert to you so that you can take a look. And I hope that it will help you and guide you in the next week trading. All right, so good luck to everyone and see you next week.